Hello everyone, Seven here. I am back with another reading. <clears throat> this is for the lucky, you know, uh, seven readings. I did say Fridays, here we are on Saturday. I did forget, but we're still in that weekend energy and overall weekend energy is just great collectively because like I said, people get paid, people are having fun, people are turning up. So it's just a lot of abundant open door energy and um, the intention for this reading is so that everyone can open their doors to the abundance, prosperity, good luck, and good fortune that we all desire, correct? Right. So I've already uh, laid the cards out and um, before I get started I just want to thank again all the subscribers, all the people who comment, who like, who rate, and again who subscribe. Um, from this reading, take what resonates. Um, this intention is for the collective and um, for those who want better for themselves. So I hope you guys uh, like what I have to say and um, we can get started. So first, before I get into the reading, I just want to let you know the decks that I pulled from. One of the decks being the Moonology Oracle Cards by Yasmin Boland. Awesome deck. Um, the Healing Mantra by Matt. Khan, and Crystal Angels by Doreen Virtue. Let y'all know so y'all can, you know, go out there and shop. Um, and also the Animal Messages, Animal Wisdom, and this is by Susie Green. And that's something, her last name is Green, and it's all nature. And the original Rider Weight Tarot deck. Everybody knows about this, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get started. Again, take what resonates. And um, I hope you guys feel inspired to open your doors to your blessings after this message. So, the first card from the uh, Angel Oracle, you have Angelite. Look at that, angels. Um, spiritual or religious community, join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. So, a key to more abundance and prosperity in your life is being around more like-minded people, right? The more you're around like-minded people, the more joy you feel, the more excitement, the more ecstasy, and the more possibilities that you see for your own advancement and your own level up, okay? Um, from the, uh, what is it, the Healing Mantra deck, I pulled two cards, two cards came out. And speaking of ecstasy, um, inviting ecstasy was the next card and it says I am worthy of all the pleasure my heart's desires pleasure is abundant energy so following what you pleasure is a key to opening your doors and it's a key to uh, attracting more of those pleasurable experiences that uh, really we're all here wanting pleasure we all want pleasure we all want pleasure of some sort and um, Following your passion leads to pleasure. Doing what you love to do leads to pleasure. Um, getting what you want out of life leads to pleasure. And that's what we're here for, opening those doors. And closing all the doors that need to be closed, finally. Um, the next card from that same deck, the Healing Mantra deck, we have Liberating Love. I allow myself to receive all the fulfillment I'm willing to give. So, Liberating Love. Follow what you love. Follow what you love, and you'll have fulfillment. Um, and fulfillment brings joy. And um, that's what we all desire. Um, working on your own love, cultivating your own love within yourself, um, will lead you to more joy, and it'll rid everything else that is not joyful for you, okay? But um, that's also being called working on love, working on self-love. And there's a lot of pink energy here, as you can see, and pink is associated, you know, with the uh, rose quartz. And um, anytime you wanna do a bath with roses, rose petals, rose buds, it's always for love work. Um, and it could be romantic or just self-love. And um, self-love is, a lot more important um, if you want to have a successful romantic relationship with anyone. Um, all right, so um, the next card is from the Moonology deck, and we have Prosperity Lies Ahead. 
the new moon in Taurus. So with uh, this being um, for the new moon, um, what we're working on now to open our doors for more abundance and prosperity, um, whatever intentions that you have, whatever you're working towards, um, whatever you see for yourself, when the new moon comes back around, because we just left the full moon, so now we're waning. Um, we're in a waning moon process. So before uh, uh, the moon becomes new, that that is a great time to focus on what you would like to see for your life, what you want to work towards, so that when the new moon comes around, your intentions will be manifested. Um, um, or, or actually, you'll have what you need to plant those seeds, so that the next full, the next new moon cycle, you'll see your intentions. Or maybe by the springtime, you'll see your um, uh, intentions. Um, but prosperity lays, lies ahead. Let's just keep doing this work. Let's keep opening these, these doors and um, be grounded, because Taurus is an Earth sign, um, and um, anytime there's an Earth sign showing up, it's it's all about grounding and connecting. Um, with your human experience, you know, what will it take for you to be prosperous here on this plane, you know? Because, um, I mean, we all want money, we all want uh, fine um, trips, we all want fine dining, uh, comfortability in Taurus is one of those earth signs where they will be comfortable um, wherever they go, they will work hard, uh, for what they want and they will have what they need to be comfortable. Um, so work on those goals, find your targets and hit the mark. Okay. So that when the new moon comes around, you'll have your intentions and they'll be set. Um, so from the, um, right away tarot that we have the nine of pentacles. There we go. Nine of pentacles. That's, that's, um, that's material fulfillment, but also knowing your self worth. Um, I see her as a queen. She is, um, um, but with the nine of pentacles, it tells me uh, a new beginning in how you value yourself, how you see yourself, and um, truly knowing that you are prosperous and abundant. And um, you know, there's a lot of uh, greenery around. And this is right after the new moon in Taurus. So the seeds that you plant will grow. You just must know your worth, your value, and to also know that you deserve what it is that will bring you satisfaction. Okay? And um, the last deck, the um, animal messages, we have the wild horse. Speak your passion aloud and defend those whom you love in word and deed. Okay, so... Fight for what you believe in, whether that be an uh, organization, a person, um, a belief, you know. Um, speak your passion aloud. So live passionately. As you can see, this horse is very happy right now. His back hooves are in the air, so he's jumping around joyously. And all of this is all about joy. And um, do what makes you feel wild and free deep down inside because that no one can take from you. And also that is the key to your abundance. Um, so many people around now are not free, um, but really, you know, what will, you can say, open that channel again is them tapping into their wild free energy and, um, you know, speaking up for what they believe in and going against the status quo, period. Um, Cause this horse is untamed he or she is wild and um, they do what they want. So do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Okay? Go around people that uh, believe in the same things that you do, um, that see life as you do. Be open to differences and you'll find out that in those differences were pretty much the same still. So, um, like attracts like, so go around those who want to be more, and you'll see more. Okay, well, I hope that helped. Uh, again, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If this message resonated, it was for you. Um, Friday, 
I'll be back Friday. Don't count on me on Saturday because I, I, I fucked up and I forgot. But um, I came up here today. I got it done. And here it is for you. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys again. Y'all really mean a lot to me. And let's continue, you know, prospering and being abundant. We deserve it. It's all right. Don't let nobody tell you any different. Peace.